I am so appreciative of our fans. I bless their hearts every single day. But they're hard to analyze as a group because they're so different. We have hardcore fans, the old fans that have been there from the beginning, and they're usually male, and they are really intense. In the early stages, it was very young, almost 100% male. And then as the years went by, it remained 100% male. <laughs> the chicks did not really dig it, you know. I still don't throw on caressive steel that often with my wife around. <laughs> Tonight is my 113th rush show. The last time I missed a show anywhere in Europe was on the Signals Tour. Tonight will be the seventh on this tour. Been to two in America, one in Canada. Did all six in the last UK tour. My name's Pete. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I just had my 100th show in Stockholm. Rush fans are like NASCAR fans. They ain't going anywhere, man. They're brand loyalty. They are a cult band. When you go to a Rush concert, there ain't anybody leaving until the song is over. They're waiting for their favorite part. They're nudging their friend. They're going, look, he played it perfect. They're riveted to the band. The band have that relationship with their audience, where their audience really feel like the Rush lyrics communicate to them, make them feel like their experience is heard. I have this memory of sitting in the basement with my, um, my mother. I actually said to her, I want to play you a song. And it was very hard to ever get my parents' attention or anything, so it was like a big deal. Will you please sit here, and I want to play you a song. And I played Entree New, and I gave her the lyric sheet, because I wanted her to understand that this song was connecting with me on some level. When I was 16 years old, I wasn't as emotionally open. I was very withdrawn. So something about that song allowed me to say, somehow this song is almost like it's written for me. Music when you're growing up is like such a strong part of like, what do you like? What's your deal? What's your identity? Rush seemed to be just a complete added dimension of not being just obsessed with girls and hair and shit like that. You know what I mean? They seem to be kind of smart. And of course, fancying myself as a really smart kid, I was like, oh, that's my deal. Not so clearly charted. It's really just a question of your honesty. Yeah, your honesty. Glittering prizes and endless compromises shatter the illusion of integrity. Yeah, doom. And when you're when you're hearing like lyrics like that that are so earnest and sincere, talking about honesty in art and asking some of the tougher intellectual questions with that great music behind it, they really offered something in rock that was in short supply and plus they sang in french on circumstances plus c'est la même plus c'est la même chose that was pretty tricky you didn't hear that on any kiss records it's like the dude is singing in french now i'm just i can't even figure out his english it wasn't for everybody you know and it wasn't necessarily cool you were kind of like a rush geek you know a music nerd a, a kind of nerd and it was sort of nerdy music i suppose oh. 